Oh. What's up gentlemen? Today I want to go over with you guys how us dudes can be more attractive. Let's get to it. All right, so typically there's tons of things us dudes can do to be more attractive, but we're gonna nail it down to three things today. And I think the first thing that we should talk about is take care of yourself. Who's the most important person in your life, right? Well, of course you might say your mom or your dad, friend, girlfriend, but in reality, you are the most important person in your life because if you are not functioning, if you are not healthy, that's gonna have rippling effects throughout your whole life. So if you're not happy, well, it's likely that your friends are gonna feel that. Your girlfriend is gonna feel that. If you're not taking care of yourself, then you are not gonna be able to really put out what you need into the world. Taking care of yourself covers all types of things. It covers your diet, perhaps what your house looks like. And of course, I always say you gotta clean your room. Jordan Peterson always says you gotta clean your room. You gotta take care of the place that you're living and make sure it's not in total chaos. Go buy some new bed sheets today. I need to grab a couple things. So um, the lady and I are gonna be running some errands and we're gonna take you guys with us today. It's gonna be a beauty. I think when it comes to dudes taking care of themselves, the biggest thing that they miss out on is their clothing. I think a lot of people like to think men don't have to take care of themselves. It's unmanly to take care of themselves when it comes to choosing their style, choosing the type of clothes that they wanna wear. And that's just, that's just not true. I think one of the most masculine things a guy can do is wear the proper clothes, wear the proper clothes that fit him. But the absolute best way to take care of yourself is to make sure you're energized, make sure you're feeling good. And that's why we're going to get coffee. Right, let's peep the fit. Let's peep the fit. Peep the fit? The fit. Uh, Look at the shoes. Ooh, ah, uh, yes, yes. All right, the fit, the fit, the fit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, gentlemen, a huge part of taking care of yourself is making sure that your house is in order. As Jordan Peterson likes to say, set your house in perfect order before you criticize the world. So before I tell you guys what to do, I need to head into Ikea and grab some new bed sheets because uh, mine are all ripped and torn because uh, you know how it is, right? She gets a little wild sometimes. So we gotta go switch these bed sheets out and uh, set our house in perfect order before we criticize the world. All right, we're just here back at my uh, office. And uh, just kidding, we're still in Ikea here. But uh, these are all very nice. Kind of leads me to my next point, which is we have to know ourselves. If we want to really be attractive, if we want people to be attracted to us, we have to be attracted to ourselves. And the only way for us to really learn to be attracted to ourselves is if we know ourselves, if we get to know ourselves, if we spend time with ourselves. But how do you get to know yourself? That's the key. It takes time and you gotta do a lot of things. You gotta do a lot of, I don't wanna say self exploration, but reading is a huge part of getting to know yourself because as the more you read, the more you develop your own thoughts, your own desires, your own opinions. And through that you gain value, you gain self value and self worth. And going out and challenging those opinions and going out and challenging those thoughts is, is is super important to getting to know yourself. So putting your opinions and thoughts on display for the public 
it's it's powerful man it's super powerful and, and you know people don't do that enough these days they're afraid to be told that they're wrong so learning that you're wrong about something or learning that you need to work on something about yourself is is is, is important and the way we do that is by failing is by failing and learning and trying again and so you could say that failing is a huge part of getting to know yourself so if you're not putting yourself out there enough if you're not failing enough you're not going to learn enough about yourself. Now he has a difficult life decision to make. What bed sheets to get. Now, this is quite serious because what bed sheets you get will determine how your life changes moving forward. <laughs> I gotta get ones that you can't rip apart anymore. <laughs> So of course, I can sit here and tell you guys all, all I want about how to be more attractive, but of course, this is the one I'm trying to attract. <laughs> like, I, you're who I want. So, like, what message do you have for guys out there who want to be more attractive? What um, advice would you give them? Don't be afraid to be real, because girls can sense when you're trying to be fake, uh, and we just want someone genuine. Someone who's also really friendly and really nice and isn't afraid to be, you know, themselves, I guess. So basically you're saying to guys, like, just be yourself, like, be yourself, like, be you, be real, don't be fake. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pan back to that farty sound that just happened from the pillows. <laughs> or was that him? This is for him. For when I'm gone, a little side pillow. Yeah. Too bad a side pillow can't can't big spoon me. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> big spoon, overrated. Little spoon is goat. All right, gentlemen, don't be afraid to be little spoon. All right. There's nothing unmasculine about being little spoon. All right. So we're back with the new sheet. Uh, okay, maybe not an exact fit, but it's the effort. It's it's the effort that counts here. Um, when it comes to taking care of yourself and cleaning your room and making sure things are in order, it's, it's, it's the effort. You don't have to have everything perfect and all together. It's just that things are in order. That's really what counts, that you're putting the effort to put things in order, to put your life in order. And matching and perfection, that can come in time. That can come as you grow. Here is the Christmas tree, baby. Look at that. Look at that handsome boy. What a handsome boy. What should I call my Christmas tree? Comment down below. All right, gentlemen. So today is the day that the day that I met my girlfriend. And I uh, thought I would do something nice to her. It's not our anniversary. Our anniversary is a couple months from now when I actually asked her to be my girlfriend. But today is the day we met. Today is the day we went on our first date. And so I wanted to do something nice for her. So I'm gonna grab her just like something small. I'm just gonna get her like a, a rose or something, a nice rose. I'm gonna drive over and I'm gonna drop it off at her house and she doesn't know that I'm uh, doing this. And so gentlemen, this brings me to my last point. We've gone over taking care of yourself. We've gone over knowing yourself. And the last one is loving yourself. And there's no better way to look attractive to someone else than to love yourself. If you don't love yourself, if you don't accept yourself, why should someone else love you? If you don't show yourself that respect, no one's gonna show you that respect. Especially not another woman who's looking to be 
uh, nurtured and protected and taken care of and looking for someone that they can grow with and create something with. We talk about we talk about dating and relationships and being more attractive to women. There's no better way to find someone important to you, someone you can build something with, than loving yourself first and accepting yourself first. And of course, there's no easy way to get this started, not at all, because some of us, we're not raised in environments that promote that kind of self-love, that promote that kind of self-acceptance. And some of us are gonna have a lot harder time than others, but we really have to work on this. And loving yourself comes from, <laughs> quite honestly, doing the first two things that I talked about, taking care of yourself and knowing yourself. Those are, those are two of the most important things you can do to work towards loving yourself. It's all about us. It's all about what we can do as men to be better and to grow and to prosper and to help other people grow along with us. That's what it's all about. Well, that's about basically it, gentlemen. I mean, follow these tips and you, you're gonna be, you're gonna be slaying that pussy. I'm just, I'm just joking, I'm joking. Follow these tips, gentlemen, and you will be able to find uh, quality quality love, not just one night flings, not just people who are gonna hurt you, not just people who are gonna waste your time. People who will bring meaning to your life, people who will bring value to your life. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, sauce me one of these bad boys down below. Smash that subscribe button. And of course, as always, stay handsome.